Hi everyone, I just thought I'd pop on just to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and best wishes for the new year and thank you to everyone who subscribed. I finally reached 100 subscribers on my channel which I never thought would be possible and um, so thank you so much to everybody and if you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed I would be really really grateful if you could just hit that subscribe button and um, hit the thumbs up if you like what you see on any of my videos and if you want to watch any future videos if you hit the little bell that's a notification bell and that will let you know when I film anything in the future so I hope you're all ready for Christmas and that you're going to be having some time off work if, if you're working and um, I just wish you all a really really Merry Christmas so whilst I'm here I just thought I'd show you very quickly my finished make and this is a an ami along that I've been taking part in um, I've made reference to her before and I've put the finished make on Instagram and she's lovely and I've really enjoyed doing it really enjoyed it and um, I, I didn't actually I'll put the designer's name on the screen and uh, I'll leave a link to her below as I usually do. I didn't use the yarn that she recommended. I used Barocco Vintage yarn which Elise um, from Les Petit Saint Crochet recommends to use for toys. So I thought I'd give it a go and um, I'm really pleased with it. It's obviously bigger than what the original make is um, but it's come out really well and I liked working with that, that particular yarn. It is a bit more expensive than maybe the 100% the cotton but it's, um, I think it's, it's well worth it. So I'll leave a link to where I got mine from below. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, I've attached the hair to the hat and that's part of the pattern. Uh, the, the one dilemma I had when I finished her was whether to put a mouth in or not. Now, most amigurumi don't have mouths. They just have the eyes and the nose. And that's absolutely fine and they look really cute regardless but I will be gifting this to a certain little girl in the family who is very likely to ask me why or ask her mum and dad why there's no mouth on it so I deliberated over it for a few days thinking do I put one in don't I so and I tried lots of different ways of doing it lots of different colors and um, eventually I ended up with um, with that so I could be really critical about it but I'm not going to it's it's a little dolly that hopefully she'll um, she'll play with and um, I'm sure she won't be looking at uh, critiquing where I've positioned the mouth or anything like that so um, but yeah I'm really happy I might actually just make her a little scarf just to wear uh, because it's cold at the moment and um, she's got no jacket or anything so what I have done as an extra is I've made her a little pillow and I've used Stylecraft Special DK for that and I've made a couple of blankets so again that's Stylecraft Special DK and um, that is uh, Sheepies, Chunky Monkey I think, I think that one is that I've used for that. So just, just to use up bit, bits of, um, of wool but at least she's got two nice little blankets and a pillow. 
So I'm really happy with that. Um, also, I have not, I've not got very far with the little box of crochet advent garland because I've been busy with um, gifts and shopping and all the usual stuff that you have at this time of year. So um, I've just got this far with um, that one and that far with that one. So, so I've not got far with them, but I'm quite happy to do them over the Christmas breaks. And just to give you a reminder of what it looks like, it is beautiful, so I can't wait to, to finish it off. And last but not least is a little bit of Happy Post. I bought some candles from the Wild Botanist. These candles are called the Bookcase Collection. So you can pick three candles. You can buy them individually, but uh, you can also pick three candles and then you get a stocking with it, which I haven't got with me. Uh, but it's a, a white, a cream uh, knitted stocking, so I've just put it in the lounge. But So this one is the Snowman. And on the back of it, it's got uh, a little bit from the film. So, um, which unfortunately I can't read because I've not got my glasses on. Let me see what it says. I woke in a room filled with light and silence. The whole world seemed to be held in a dream. It was a magical day and it was on that day I made the snowman. And the smell. Oh. It's, oh, it smells lovely. So fresh and, oh, it's beautiful. I'll keep my glasses on so I can see this one. Polar Express is the next one. And that says, seeing is believing, but sometimes the most real things in the world are the things we can't see. And that one, oh, that's even nicer than, um, than that one. They're all lovely. And the other one was the Christmas Carol, which I have actually gifted to somebody, so I can't show you that. But that was a smell of... Um, uh, like vanilla and gingerbread, I think, off uh, off the top of my head. So, um, but yeah, that's that's been gifted, so I can't show you. But well worth it, well worth the price. So I'll leave a link to that below, and um, and then hopefully you can you can have a look at that. So that's it. Just a quick one, as I said, um, and I wish you all a really happy Christmas, um, where wherever it is whoever it's spent with, um, just have a, a lovely time and I will see you in the new year. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.